There's my low profile kill. Switch over to my sword. Alright. Almost done. He's almost freaking dead. Watch the health. Take the strike. There is a way to fight injustice, but this is not it. I gotta just pretend that he's gonna get attacked everywhere he goes because he's almost dead. Well, not dead, but below 50% health. Yeah, you're gonna be next, aren't you? I will match you. There. Very nice. But I know it's coming! Destroyed? You stupid mackerel! I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted! Nonsense! Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who! And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can! What do we do? Create a window. What? Best possible prize and best possible body. Oh, bloody hell are you? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You have no right to rub people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And he's suffering cleanly. Are they not appetizing? Please. for you what are the things you lost the people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker in the English they can keep my teams you did well tonight I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me in place of drink I offer you my allegiance for what it's worth your aid is welcome and I am grateful now I need to find Sam Adams Angry chef. Assassination ability. Okay, let's see what we got. Do a fast travel here. We gotta recruit to our homestead and we got some liberation missions on the map now. Uh, let's clear the map. You know, I always get really, really antsy when there's way too much crap on my map. It's an OCD thing. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Zoom. Homestead. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, really? Oh, 
the hell is that red mark? Red usually means I failed something. Not bad, not bad. That's not what I want to do. Dude, the icon didn't show up. Oh my god, it's a lot of guys doing it. Enough of that. No loading your gun in front of me. My god, I really need smoke bombs. It's been much easier with smoke bombs. Tackled, son. Now no rise off the hook right now. Go away. Stay down. What the hell? It's a whole lot of guys. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. They had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? North of here, province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? Hey, Canadian. I am a miner by trade, but it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. Oh, come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? The brawler. Maybe I should buy some weapons. New ones anyways. Let's see. Let's see what this contract has in store for us. What the hell? Why is that one glowing? Weird. Fawn, how is your ale? Peace, but it gets the job done. My father would be disgusted, but after a day's work with you, a man needs to unwind. I would prefer a nice bottle of wine, but these colonies lack refinement. Your father? Mon père. He was a great man. A cook in the French army during the Seven Years' War. He marched all across the White North, Feeding Louis Joseph de Montcalm and his officers, cooking them feasts from sticks and berries. When the commander in chief opted for open conflict over manning the battlements of Quebec, every man was called to arms, including my father. He died on the field. But I'm told he fought ferociously. It matters little. He's gone now. He would be proud of you. This is my one hope that he smiles upon the choices I've made.
Is that it? Connor, do you have time to sit? I do. Good. I have been meaning to ask you. How did you come to Aziz? I did not ask for it. But I feel it was meant to happen. I was just a boy when I met Achilles. He made me a warrior. Is that easy? I miss the kitchen, if you can believe it. I had more control in that world than I ever will in the one we inhabit. But more people get to taste the fruit of my labor in this line of work, and for that, I am satisfied. We may change things yet, if we press on. Frenchmen from the north never grow weary. Just ask the women! <laughs> Oh, that's it. Okay. Get to know Stefan. Okay, I'm not going back in there. Screw this. That way. I want to hunt turkey. <laughs> Give me damn turkeys. Tea party, here we go. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so. Eliminate the guards. 